All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our second round of King of the Sea EU. Um, once again, we've got a best of one. This is on a loop. And let's take a look at DEA's lineup. They've got themselves a Radar Yu Yang with a, a Regalo. Gun uh, range build Regalo. Interesting. And they've got Frank in the Kleber. For cruisers, we've got... Um, I don't know. Fred HCS in the uh, Marsili without numbered. Darth Katsuki in a Salem range build. Mr. Floppy in a Napoli range build. There's a uh, big dig Schwede in the Stalingrad, also without numbered. And then we've got Lasty practicing as a Vermont so that he can use the space shuttle themed camo later on this season. Um, and then DEA X assassination in the St. Vincent. And I should clarify, Space Shuttle Camo is going to be for after COTS. You will not see it in COTS. All right, Puddin, what do we got south with R7S? R7S, the gearing is a ledge mod, torpedo built, Ragnar, to nobody's surprise, is running a radar mod. Mm -hmm. The daring is more gun build. Uh, with the reload, let's see the Golden Lou. Running range and the hydro. Oh, look, a uh, ledge mod Des Moines. I'm completely shocked with more radar. Mm -hmm. Petro with reload, more radar. Ohio, uh, let's see, tank build, but running the fire. Yeah, furious. Skill. Just curious about that. And Maybe sniper spec, too. Toys. And Vermont is running more American accuracy. So both U.S. battleships are running American accuracy. Yeah, there you go. And we also got that San Martin. Oh, uh, where did he disappear off to? Uh, he's he's oh, heading he towards the, right. the decap. He, hit, he was hiding behind the island that is known as Vermont. Running <laughs> more radar and faster shooting pew pews. Yep. Now, I like the Ragnar Daring combo, just going straight into sea. Of course... You have to expect there's a radar cruiser on the other side. So as soon as they go in, that will, in theory, trigger that radar. Waiting on the Stalingrad. Oh, I mean, it it's Stalingrad. I wouldn't be worried. Like, the only one who's going to get multiple shots will be Salem. Possible the Marsili with the reload booster. So there's the, there's the radar. They delayed on purpose, probably figuring they only had one ship in the sea cap to deal with. So they... they uh, Miss time that R7S does come up with the initial cap, and here comes the initial shots into Rias's daring. Not really doing too much. Oh wait, there's more. Ooh. Well, that's a lot of damage. Don't worry, he's got a heal. <laughs> well, I mean, ironically, I think that's smart with the way the daring exited over the Ragnar, the Ragnar went closer to the island so less ships can shoot him. Yes. Right? Because Ragnar doesn't have the heal to where, like, like the Daring, okay, he's just gonna back off for a while, use all of his heals, and be like, all right, well, I'm back, and uh, Adrenaline, does he? Yeah, his Adrenaline Rush will be active. That's right. Um, Now, keep in mind, the Ragnar does have a heal, too. Oh, it does? Yep. I haven't played my Ragnar, but once... It's all good. Pretty it's much all, all my tier 10s. If I get a win, it just gets retired. I never have to play it again. Or snowflakes, perhaps. I'm the same way as you. I, I prefer playing more of the grind ships just because I feel like I'm actually doing something. Uh, interesting that, you know, both teams did send uh, a double DD to one of the, I would dare say, contest caps. Mm -hmm. Ironically, that they both chose different contest caps to do this at. Yeah, it's very interesting as both teams are now starting to kind of dig in. You can see that uh, IOAX's Des Moines is taking up a position opposite of uh, Big Dig's uh, Stalingrad. So both both sides will have radar coverage of the C-CAP. And then over at the D-CAP, we've got the Petro taking up a position to uh, just eat a whole bunch of torpedoes. Well, I mean, it we makes sense. That. You definitely want one a position not to eat torpedoes. That would probably be a good idea. Um, I'm getting requests in chat for a hot tub stream after this. 
No. <laughs> Zant lives in the frigid north side of Chicago, right? Yeah. There's only four days of not snow. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or Cots karaoke. I don't know how that works. Look at these long range shells on the Petro. Nope, nothing. No, I mean, to, I, I would dare say literally nobody's surprised. A Russian cruiser is using Space Island armor to protect one of its side. I mean, that's what you do, right? You use that island as your shield. Unless your name is Nevsky, then you pray to God your Gumo knows how to lay smoke down. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> or that you spec your ship in the first place. Uh, <laughs> well, let's deal with one problem at a time. <laughs> Yogi's Guten Liu gets hit uh, pretty hard by that St. Vincent over there assassination. Um, interesting position for this Guten Liu. I would have thought they tried to put it in a position to just Dutch oven the Stalingrad, uh, but they're, I guess they're happy just to let him sit there. Feels like both teams are looking at the decap as being where the decisive battle is going to take place. I don't know. I mean, like, I know you guys at Kraken usually have traditionally run a Dutch cruiser. Like, does the Golden Luke actually have range to drop on Stalin? Not from where it's at right now, no. Uh, it would need to be at the Des Moines Island. Actually, wait. I don't know. He's wait. doing it now. He's doing it. It's almost like he's listening to us. And guys, we are definitely not in the same voice channel. So he does actually have the range. I mean, you could definitely tell the practice and didn't because we clearly didn't practice putting a gold moon there versus a Stalingrad. Yeah. The problem is from that position, you saw the you saw the the pattern of the of the strike. It, it's almost completely perpendicular to the Stalingrad, so very low chance of actually, you know, connecting. Well, I mean, I think the overall issue is even if you do connect, that's one to two bombs. That that right exactly. You know, so it's. How long can you chip them down while the club air goes into C cap and there's literally nobody there to contest them or do anything and um Our, one yeah. radar is on cooldown. Yep. Well he 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 radared as the club air was approaching the island and then he just dove the island. Meanwhile, R7S did lose their Petro, which we kinda thought was gonna happen, right? He just sat there. Um and now it's Marsili St. Vincent and Regolo just charging on in well i mean it's almost like saint vincent doesn't care and if he takes damage because he can just pop the screw you i have a ton of duct tape on board yes yes which ironically would mean like what you'd want to do is ignore the saint vincent and shoot the marcel because mm -hmm. the the marcel or i'm just going to call it what i normally call it, the marcilli can Marcilli. just it, it heals so much more or less, right? Like, mm -hmm. just look at all this damage, St. Vincent. Now, it's just going to go right back up. Yep, he busted out the Band-Aids. Right. I mean, unless you're landing four or five torpedoes, not a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Right, because for those of you who do not know, torpedoes are considered citadel damage, which means you can't heal as much of it back as the Marsili takes some big damage. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, puppy. But we're all not happy we're up this early. <laughs> A lot of deep water torpedoes coming into R7's um, uh, smoke snail on the other side of the map. Actually, Turex is going to turn into one of them. Ouch. Oh, all skill, no luck. It actually fizzled out just in time. Hey. Uh, you were just Des talking Moines about push. that St. Vincent. St. Right. Vincent just Des died. Des Moines pushed up into... See, think, like, uh, ironically now, let's be thankful that uh, St. Vincent is dead. Well, that does allow the Des Moines to move <laughs> up and at least get into a position to try to block the point gain um, at the least. If, if you can also get the cap, that's great. And there goes the Marsili. Oof. So, two huge kills for R7S, completely blunting DEA's push around that 910 line. More importantly, that saved your Golden Lou. Iwax, though, in Apparently, trouble. Your, your Des Moines 
kind of wishes he had a Salem heel right now. Yeah, he pushed up a little too far, trying to get that the hits on the uh, on the Kleber. Um and now he's in deep, deep trouble. Oh, he's taking it from both sides, Napoli Salem. He can't back up farther. Exactly right. So this is the this is the rock he will die on. Now Vermont just clobbered Darth Katsky Salem uh, a bit, but he's got a super heel, so he rips out the band aids. Cool moves dropping on Salem, which it will be able to heal back, I believe, eighty percent of that damage. Oof! Nice hit there, though. Yeah, I like the idea of just trying to force, uh, you know, force the him out of that position. That's why you bring a good Liu, but. I wax though. I, I just don't see it. Vermont does a nice job. There it is. Lassie gets I was the kill. Say, even if you get the Salem to move from the position, damage is done to the Des Moines. Yep. You know, it's too late for the Des Moines. Right. Uh, now Vermont is taking up the mantle. And ironically, he's almost in the same fate. Uh, the only difference is. He can turn better. He can. Um, he might be able to nail this Kleber. I think uh, that could help tremendously. But yeah, I feel like DEA's got a really good control of the, the two three line. That being said, you can see R7S put down another brilliant smoke screen, so the San Martin is free to flex behind it and just keep pumping AP shells into Lassie's Vermont. That being said, they're not doing much damage because Lassie's too close to the island now. I I do want to like ironically that push from D side from um, DEA mm -hmm. it forced everything so far back that it allowed the Salem to get in this position to cover yeah C cap right and luckily the destroyer was smart enough to go well you know you guys are dead I'll. I'll see you next round. Uh, <laughs> good luck dying out there, right? Right. It's, it's also delaying this push, because right? you, you have to respect the simple fact if you're pushing in the torpedoes. That's right. Right? You can't just push on skilled as game ended. Like, wow, way to pay attention to scores. <laughs> <laughs> no death uh, pick this time. Uh, and that was DA with the winners. That was DEA with the win. I'll tell you, um, that, that that speaks to directly to what you were just saying, right? DEA with that aggressive push down the 910 line, uh, although it failed, did push R7S on the back foot long enough that it allowed their team to get to the rest of positions to hold what they had. And then they just simply waited for their timer to tick up because they had control of the middle cap, they had control of uh, the decap and they also had their home cap so they had three ticks versus one to r7s r7s just simply unable uh to recover